So today I want to show um, three things that are pretty much related. <coughs> First, I want to show the effects of um, keygen programs and crack programs, just because a lot of people use them and um, a lot of people don't know what they do to your computer. And um, and then I'm going to show show you a website called bugmenot.com, and that's going to allow me to. Um, to show you how to safely install programs to layers in, in case you want to um, maybe download a, a program for for conver converting an audio file or, or just anything temporary and want to use the program services but once you're done you want to completely erase everything from your computer because uninstalling doesn't erase all the files so this just shows you know, this will just show three different things so first I'm going to show the cause of cracks and keygens and uh, what, I'm, what the program I'm going to use is called a program called Process Monitor and you can get this free from Microsoft it's a pretty good tool I'd recommend downloading it just I guess Google Process Monitor yeah anyways so with this it basically shows you everything on your everything on your computer basically everything that's happening and it's it's very good as it shows basically everything and all the operations that it's requesting and everything but we don't want to see all this so we just want to we're just going to filter so we're only looking at the key gen so we can add a filter there and process name keygen.exe add that filter and an operation maybe just create file just so you can see all the files it creates. So we have that. And it's showing nothing right now because I haven't launched it yet. And I'm going to um, launch this from a layer because I don't want to screw up my computer. But you'll you'll be able to see all the all the things that happens with it. So I'll put this right here. And we'll put that up. And so it's launching the key gen right now. Hopefully this will cover up the serial. So, and see before the file even opens, you can create file. It doesn't even launch the program yet. There it is. Okay, and I'm showing this one because it's the Photoshop CS3 extended keygen. And in no in no way am I promoting the use of legal programs or um, pirating anything. But I just want to show this one because this is a very popular one that a lot of people are going to be using. And it's for Photoshop CS3. And as you can see, I haven't even done anything. I just launched it. But you can see all these things that it's done. Try to expand this and you can just see all these create files it's done and it's just it just goes on and on and i mean just just looking at it it's pretty crazy because it's created all these files and this just shows that key gens aren't they the people making the cracks and keygen programs aren't interested in letting you use the program for free they're <coughs> excuse me they're they want to get your credit card information and just everything from your computer. So, and this is just create files, and as you can see, 690 events. That's pretty crazy. So, that's just that's the first part. That's just showing everything and how how much how bad key gens are for your computer. And I'm gonna close that. Oh man, I have to edit that out later. And so next we're going to look at a program called close this and I'm definitely going to scan my computer later next we're going to look at a program called Alteris Software Virtualization Solution Admin or just um, SV, SVS and you can also get this program for free from PC Magazine and this has become one of my favorite programs recently um, as you can see, um, PC Magazine offers it for free, and you can download the zip right here. But this is part two of the little tutorial. 
um, how many times have you been prompted with like registered members only all that crap like that so if you're tired of giving away your your personal um, email addresses I have like 10 email addresses because I use Gmail but if you don't want to do any of this or just don't want to go through the hassle of registering there's a website called bug me not and this is a very good website so say oh I just want to go to pcmagazine.com get some logons and these are these are usernames and passwords that people have used people have already set up just for you so you don't have to go through everything so I guess I'm gonna use this one buggery that's a ma username and the password and then we're just gonna sign in <coughs> And just like that, it it lets you go through because someone has already made that um, someone's already made that username and uh, password. So I mean, you you can do this for for any website you want. Um, you you can just get if you're just annoyed with um, the logins. So that's bug me not, and that's just bugmenot.com. I'd recommend checking it out. And then you just download the program, and this lets you safely install stuff to layers. So now I'm going to show you how to use the program once you install it. It's very simple. Um, all you do is create a new layer, and since we're installing a program or just just um, just launching an EXE, then we select this and click next. And I guess we could call this keygen. Wow. Keygen, just so we know what it is. And then browse for the pr uh, program name. Keygen.exe. And then you will be able to. Let me just get that. And then you'll be able to click next and then finish. And then. Once again, if I had the process mon monitor up, it'd show everything. And so then we have the program right here, <coughs> or uh, any like any audio conversion tool. And then once you're done with this, it pops up again. Then all you have to do is delete layer. And yes, I want to delete it. It'll take it a second because it's, as you saw, it made almost 700 changes. And then basically it's deleting everything that because I didn't actually install it onto my computer. I just installed it onto that layer. And as you can see, the layer is gone and there is no trace of the program on my computer anymore. And this is very useful, like I said, just for a quick install for any program that you want to use, like a conversion tool. And that's about it. So basically I want to remind you that key gens and crack programs are very bad for your computer as you saw there was over 700 modifications in just create file alone in just that operation bug me not's a very good program if you wanna just log into a website very quickly and you don't want to register and installing into layers is very good because once you're done with the program you can just delete it and everything's gone no uninstallation because un uninstalls are a little shaky sometimes. They they don't remove everything, or they just aren't, aren't that good. So that's basically it, and hope you are a little safer with your computer. Thanks.